Hello my friends! We are celebrating Greasy Ponytail Sunday today. Yep, this is the second day, no wash hair. <sighs> I know, right? I'm trying to like be healthier with my hair, so not washing it is one of those things. And I'm sorry about the background. The lighting is bizarre today in Oregon, so you have to look at my depressing dark bedroom. Okay, so there you go. <sighs> So I have my errand cl running clothes on today and the ponytail thing, but I had to catch up with you guys because I'm about to do something wild and crazy. And you're like, Sasha, you're always doing something wild and crazy. I know. <laughs> but this is really wild and crazy, you guys, like out of your mind crazy. Because I just received a full lace human hair wig from Uniwigs earlier in the week, and I'm about to do something wild. Okay, here's the 411. It came to me in the box. I open it up. It's this super blonde wig, okay, and it's been curled. And it's human hair. So, you know, my first thought is, why would they curl this? You know, I, they know that I like to wash all my human hair wigs before I wear them. It's just, you know, it's just a must. Because when you get a human hair wig right out of the box you put on your head, it's just freakishly weird looking. It looks nothing like a synthetic wig straight out of the box. Synthetic wigs were out of the box. They tend to like need some brushing and a little bit of styling and usually that's the, you know, they look great after a little bit of tweaking. But a human hair wig, I've never had luck with just pulling one out of the box and sticking it on my head. I almost always have to wash it. So I did try combing out the curls they put in it and putting it on my head and my husband saw it and he thought I was wearing some like cheap Halloween wig. I said, I'm just playing with it, I'm just playing with it, I'm going to wash it. So I washed it and set it, and that's as far as I got. Okay, but, but here's the issue with this wig. Okay, it's long, it's human hair, it's blonde. A lot of my favorite things, right? But I'm going to show it to you. Oh, this is Chrissy, the platinum blonde. She's way over 20 inches long, even though she's the 20 inch length, but here is the catch. No roots. <sighs> Whoa! Kind of killing me inside, kind of killing me inside. Okay, so I, I immediately emailed my contact at Uniwigs, and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I generally like blonde, but hello 1970s Barbie called, and she wants her hair back. <laughs> Yeah, so, mmm. I mean, 1970s Barbie, don't get me wrong. She was hot, but do I want to go out of the house looking like her? Mmm, I'm not so sure. So my contact at Uniwigs gave me the go-ahead to dye the wig if I wanted to. And I'm like, oh, I mean, this is an expensive wig, but, mmm. I am a risk taker, so I'm thinking, what could go wrong? I could fry it, but I think I'm going to go darker, so I'm not too worried about that. I've never dyed a wig before, but I do know how to use boxed hair dye because, you know, I was in high school once. So anyways, let's just take an overall look at what Chrissy looks like before before I hurt her. So anyways, all right, Lucy, you get to take a break from your job. And we're going to take a look at the inside of Chrissy. So she's a full lace wig, which is absolutely awesome. All kind of flesh toned lace in here, which is great. We've got the two combs on the side. We have some clips at about the uh, ear tab area that have the snapping function for a little extra security and there's an extra comb in the back along with the adjustable straps. So, so far so good. My one concern about when I dye this darker is some of the elements of the inside of this cap are like, you know, they look like they could take on color. Are they going to be like, is there going to be like brown mottled spotting everywhere if I try darkening this wig? Or is it just going to stay flesh toned? I I have no idea. So that is a concern. <laughs> it's a small concern, but it's a concern. And the other thought is, well, 
you know, I'm not going to cut this wig, but I probably will wear this curled, so I'm not too worried about all this excess hair that could be cut. And I did measure this. This is a 20 inch wig with 130% density, I believe. Platinum blonde. I know, it's so blonde. Um, even more blonde than I actually am comfortable wearing out. And now that I'm a little more mature and <laughs> Uh, not trying to scare my neighbors as much. I like to try to maintain like a, at least in the same color range a lot of the time. I don't like totally freaking people out anymore with like, you know, one day being a redhead, one day being a blonde, one day wearing a pitch black bob. I've done it in the past and I, I really don't care, but sometimes it's kind of freaky and people don't recognize me and I don't like that. So, <laughs> um, let's just see what I come up with because I'm gonna go oh God, where do you even go to buy box hair dye anymore besides the grocery store I, I see I don't even know maybe there isn't there like one of those uh, hair I don't know I don't know so this is gonna be like an absolute field trip for me today I'm gonna go try and find some boxed hair color that I like and have a go at this because hey it's it's Sunday fun day greasy ponytail day why not spend it ruining a $400 wig. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Rest in peace, Chrissy. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And I'm going to tell you what I did to Chrissy because I originally had the intention of just dyeing Chrissy all over one color. Okay, so it's been a while since I've used box hair dye since like high school, like I was saying. So I went over to Target because I know that Target has tons of stuff I don't need. Why I don't shop there. And so I walked down this aisle that was from one end to the other, top to bottom, hair dye. I was not expecting to see this. So I was completely overwhelmed and instead of just filling my cart with everything that attracted my eye, I decided, okay, let's have a game plan here. First of all, I didn't want to just do an all over one color once I saw that there were other options there. I noticed in this one section they have uh, root touch up boxes and I'm like, hey, root touch up boxes, that means uh, I could do some rooting on Chrissy maybe. So it would be like a box with a smaller amount of dye just for doing a root job and it would come with a little brush. So I was like, uh, oh, I need that little brush. So, I'll show you what I bought, and I'll show you what I ended up using. Okay, so first of all, I just bought, you know, a cheap box of hair color that I liked. I thought, oh, this is pretty. That super blonde Chrissy wig would look really cute in this, and this is the light golden brown of Revlon. I was like, oh, so pretty. It's almost kind of, no, it's not like my hair at all. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> um, I found this root touch-up kit. And it says there's enough to do it three times. It came with the brush. And I just chose the color dark brown because I'm thinking, oh my God, Chrissy is like a super blonde color. What if she doesn't take a lighter root? Like I put a lighter root uh, dye on Chrissy and it doesn't take because she's so bleach blonde. So I just went with a dark brown. I don't want anything darker than that because there's nothing I dislike more than a super blonde wig with black roots. That doesn't look realistic on me at all. For some people that works, but hello, everybody looking at me and my pale skin tone. No, I don't have black roots, okay? So anyways, I'll show you what this kit came with, instructions. Mm -hmm. Uh, it came with a crap ton of these plastic gloves. And the reason why I'm not showing you the whole process of me dying Chrissy is because it would be just tedious learning experience on my part and full of cuss words. And I know you guys don't like it when I cuss in my videos because you leave me little, you know, very helpful, direct uh, messages. And I don't need that kind of criticism in my life, you guys. I'm not as classy as you think, okay? The cuss words, they floweth. <laughs> okay, so anyways, the, uh, the dying process, you know, although studded with cuss words, was actually quite simple. I had a really good time doing it, actually. 
So I'll show you how easy this was. Um, if I'm doing this right, okay. Sorry, I had to disassemble this to clean the, the head of the nozzle. Okay, so you have this little thing. You spray the two nozzles, two different product comes out of here, into this little cup. Once you squeeze a correct amount, which oh, I just filled it up halfway, I stirred it with the brush, and I'm about to reveal to you what I did. Okay, this is Chrissy with her new root job. I know, you're thinking, how did Sasha do that on her own? I know, I'm thinking the same thing, you guys. I mean, I didn't think I was this talented. So anyways, I just took um, another wig that I had that was rooted and studied it for a little bit. And I noticed that on the rooting of the wig, you basically just have a couple inches of rooting. And then I noticed that along the front of these rooted wigs, they went in around the scalp and did those. There would be rooting along here. Okay, so I was thinking, okay, doable, doable. And then I also noticed, here, let me grab it real quick. I'm gonna use my Angelica for this example. Now, Angelica, she has come rooted professionally. So, you know, it's, it actually is like a grow out. So it's not exactly the same idea because she actually has rooting throughout her entire head. But let's just look at the main idea is that there's about this much rooting showing and the rooting comes out all along and then in the back you'll see the rooting comes down a couple inches and then stops. So I was thinking uh, this the inside back rooting I don't need to go that far I mean who's gonna see that anyways I'm obviously never gonna wear Chrissy as a ponytail at least I hope not it's way too tedious for me. So anyways, I figured, you know, if I just do the top and then I do around the fronts of the face some, um, that should do it. Okay, so with that in mind, I just started, well, Lucy was wearing the wig when I did this. So poor Lucy, she had just black stuff smeared all over her face from my messy glove. Uh, so anyways, I just started here. I just started painting out, painting out, went back here, did all that. Then I pulled back her bangs a little bit. And this was a lot easier because she's a little uh, little wetter at this, at this point. So I just pulled this back a little bit. And I pulled this back a little bit. And then I just ran the brush up and then down the front a little bit. Up and then down the front a little bit. And I pulled this to the side and then just you know, pulled some down a little bit and pulled this to the side and pulled some of this down a little bit and then that was it. And I didn't let this sit for very long. I kind of did it how my hairstylist does it. You know, he puts me under the, uh, under the little like the hood thing that's blowing the hot air. What is that called? The blow dryer. <laughs> When he puts me under the blow dryer, uh, he lets me read a magazine, he comes back every once in a while and looks in the foil and he likes the color and so he stops. He doesn't, I don't know if he even times it. So uh, what I did with Chrissy was I just kept an eye on it. I'm like watching it because I'm like, I don't want this getting super dark. You know, I don't want really dark roots. I just want something subtle. So I watched it and after a couple of minutes I saw, oh, it's getting dark, it's getting dark. So I immediately stuck it under the sink faucet and rinsed it all out and conditioned her done and i and i was literally late for an appointment elsewhere but i wanted to get this done so i think i did this whole process in less than 20 it was 15 to 20 minutes i swear to god from just a dry head of wig hair putting that on letting it sit a little bit rinsing out conditioning it and then sticking it back on lucy i did it in that amount of time that's how simple that was but I didn't think you guys would want to sit through that. So I saved you from that, but I did save some pictures of the process, so I will show those, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, you would not believe, my. I showed this to my husband when I was done and I had styled it and finished it. He goes, oh my gosh, that does not look like the same wig at all. He's like, when you first got that wig out of the box, it looked like Nellie Olsen. I'm like, who the heck is Nellie Olson? And I'm like, walking around was bothering me. I'm like, Nellie Olson, Nellie who? And then finally I'm like, who is Nellie Olson? And he tells me, 
the, the mean girl from Little House on the Prairie. Little House on the Prairie? Okay, I had to actually Google this and look it up. This is Nellie Olson from Little House on the Prairie. I'm like, honey, I'm not old enough for, the, for Little House on the Prairie characters, okay? So just pick someone else next time you make a uh, comparison like that. Nellie Olson. Okay, so anyways, let's try this on because I actually curled and styled uh, Chrissy. So you guys can see how freaking amazing she looks. Okay, I'm just gonna put my hair up in a loose pony. I'm not putting a net on my head anymore, you guys. I absolutely, I just dropped that. Uh, I absolutely hate those. They're uncomfortable and hot for me. And I'm lazy, so you know what's a lazy girl to do. <laughs> and there's so many combs and clips in this wig it's absolutely unnecessary i think to have all this mumbo jumbo underneath the wig if it fits you right i'm gonna cut a little more of the wig ear tabs off because those were kind of bothering me earlier when i tried it on otherwise the lace is all cut already so let's try her out <laughs> far back do I want to wear Chrissy? I'm thinking right about there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just love all these combs. I love them. Let's fix these a little bit more. I like it when I feel the combs really dig into my own hair because then it's like, I know she's not coming off. Okay, so, that looks good. Get that right. I'm sorry, oh like, I can't stand these blemishes on my forehead, but it's been so cold and windy like the last few weeks, it's really bothering my skin. Which makes me break out and look crazy. Okay, that's not right. Mm -hmm. Let's pull out a little bit of my hair. The other choice of hair color was so that I could pull out some of my own hair and make it look amazing. Okay, so you guys, I actually curled this. I did. Um, you know, I'm not very good at curling my own hair, and I'm not really good at curling wig hair either, but <laughs> I, I went for it today because I thought, how fun would it be to make Chrissy look the best she's ever looked? Because when she came out of the box with those curls, I was absolutely horrified, and so was my husband because he thought I was actually going to wear it like that. And I'm like, no, dear. That's just how it comes out of the box. That's not, I'm not gonna wear it out like Nellie Olson, whoever the hell that is. Okay, so <laughs> anyways, I think you can see a vast difference in the realism of Chrissy. She's just looking all kinds of in style now and not like 1970s Barbie, which I mean is a thing, it is a thing, but it would look more like a Halloween costume on me than you know, legit hair. So let's get the dirtiest, most disgusting mirror in my bathroom and look at the back of this. So let's see how I did. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. I can't see what I, I'm, I'm too far away from the mirror to actually see in this, but I think, I think I did an okay job of dying, not dying, uh, curling that. What do you think of my roots? My idea was, the reason why I bought both those boxes of hair color was in case I dyed the roots and it looked like crap, <laughs> I could use that other hair color to dye over this. So I want to take a vote, you guys. I wanted to know if you guys think I did a good job on, on Chrissy's roots or do I need to just die over all this and make her even darker? Because I think this is pretty darn hot and I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Although I am going to go over the roots a little bit with 
that's um I'm just noticing I don't like how how light that is this needs to be I'm just using my uh, what is this my Kat Von D shade and light eye kit and I'm using a little bit of uh, brown because I don't like how light the scalp is Oh, and one other point I made earlier that I was afraid of, I was afraid that the scalp was going to get all discolored and modely looking from the hair dye. Mm, no, mm. it barely took up any of the color. I'll show you here in just a second. That looks better. Looks more shaded. Okay. So that's looking nice there. Okay. So I'm going to take her off, even though I think she looks fabulous. Okay. But I wanted to show you what happened to the inside of the cap, just so you have an idea in case you want to do this on your own. Where'd that thing go? This feels really good on, actually. No complaints there. <laughs> My wild, crazy hair looked like I've been on the back of a motorcycle or something. I would never do it, you know. Okay, so anyway, oh my gosh, look at that, mm, look at those muscles. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm getting ready for a bodybuilding competition, so when I see myself in the mirror, all I see is, is the muscle, yeah, okay, so. Anyways, this is the worst of the worst that happened to it, actually. I don't even, I don't even really see much going on here. It didn't really go through, but it didn't, it didn't stain up the, uh, root, the rooting either, not that I, like, dug the dye into the scalp or anything, but I mean, look at it. There's no like big brown spots or anything like that. And that's what I was concerned about. It looks like a total normal scalp of, of head. It looks like a, yeah, it looks like a total normal head of hair and scalp there. It doesn't look uh, destroyed like I was expecting it to look. So I mean, like, look at that. I just can't believe how good it came out. And I'm really pleased that I spent the this kit cost I think $9.99 for this that other box of hair dye was like $2.99 or three dollars something ridiculously cheap I was like oh my god does this even work <laughs> but um it worked great I still have tons of product left so I could probably do like another who knows probably five more wigs with that and there we go Lucy's so happy that she gets to wear a totally decent head of hair now. She really did not like that all over blonde look. And I'm telling you, like, you might think that, uh, oh, God, Lucy, your hair's always in my mouth. Uh, anyways, you may think that that all over blonde head of hair looked okay. Uh, it was so frightening. I couldn't put it on and show it to you guys in person because that's how, like, kind of creepy costuming it looked. So this is a major improvement. But I want you to vote below and let me know if you think it looks good or do you think I should re-dye Chrissy all over again? I think this is kind of the way to go though. What do you think, Lucy? Anyways, like this video if you liked anything about it, you found anything helpful whatsoever. Subscribe over here. Is it over here? Is it over here? Subscribe because I know you don't want to miss any of my other videos. They're not all about wigs. Sometimes they're just about me. So if you like the idea of that, come back soon and check out what I got going on. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.